Alright guys, um, it's Dave from DM Graphics. Uh, well, I haven't ever referred to myself like that before. Um, that sounded a bit weird. I don't know if I'll do that again. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. You'll have to see. And so, uh, big news, I've got Photoshop CS5. Uh, this is it. I got the uh, web premium package with a student discount. Uh, it cost a fair amount, but uh, I'm going to be running through it with you. Um, I'm not going to lie, this is my third attempt at uh, recording this. And uh, yeah, it's uh, getting pretty annoying. <laughs> uh, first time I capture card thing screen recorder didn't work second time I got to the end of the commentary press stop on my audacity and the program crashed on me so uh, if my voice becomes a little hoarse or I stop for a drink I'm sorry but uh, yeah this is what's gonna happen so uh, first impressions this looks pretty familiar there's a few new buttons, like the quick selection, with a uh, content aware on spot healing and stuff like that. Noticeable differences that I think are pretty cool. Essentials give us this, you know, the the normal, the standard uh, CS4 layout design gives us the swatches, uh, you know, text uh, and whatnot layers as a standard painting, swatches and brushes, which is pretty good for me because uh, I mean I do digital paintings uh, well if you want to see one go over to my channel um, and uh, watch one if you like it, give it a rate, give it a comment be uh, pretty awesome if you could I mean you've also got the photography section adjustment panels and whatnot uh, 3D motion and with that open I'm gonna probably show you how to make a gif uh, in a upcoming tutorials so that should be fun I'm not sure what to do yet if you've got any suggestions leave me a comment and this is a um this is gonna be like a review kind of what's different what's worse what's better you know whether or not forking out the extra however much it is for a CS5 Photoshop at least is uh is worth it over CS4 or if it's just a a waste of money to be honest with you I, I'm gonna show you uh what I think and I am gonna give you a bit of a spoiler I think it's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna be working with uh this image of uh Kira Knightley in Pirates of the Caribbean. Also that's what Google told me. It was I'm not exactly sure. It looks pretty Pirate the Caribbean ish, but then again, this could be a samurai suit for all I know. And uh, I thought this was a great picture just to show you, you know, what CS5 can do. And I think out of all of the new stuff, the stuff I haven't seen is probably quite a lot, but on the face of it, this selection here is going to be an absolute lifesaver. This is so quick, it's unbelievable. Literally, watch what I'm doing here. I am actually just painting onto her and it's selecting everything pretty accurately. That's me uh, rushing this a bit. I keep forgetting I have a time limit, so uh, generally my uh, tutorials go on for a little while. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> uh, if you don't like me rambling on for uh, 15 or so minutes, uh, you know, tell me and I'll try to uh, fix my ways and uh, bring out some more succinct videos for you. But, uh, you know, I quite like talking. Uh, quite a talkative person, you might say. Um... You know, I enjoy doing these. I enjoy when you enjoy uh, what I've done. If I enjoy it when you, God, I'm saying that word a lot. I like it when you, uh, you know, you learn something. You you like what you see. And I mean, look how fast this is. 
If I had a more steady hand, that would have been absolutely epic. And, you know, look up, uh, yeah, so, uh, tell me if you think I'm, I'm a decent, you know, in inverted commas, teacher. Uh, right, so that, that's, a, that has took, like, half the time it normally takes to select anything like this, you know. I usually, uh, speed this up if I'm gonna video this. And, uh, so that's pretty awesome. So I'm just going to do a, a quick layer, new, new layer by a cut, uh, and just brings it out here. And another brilliant feature is the spot healing tool, which is here, coupled with a content aware uh, selection thing. And check this out, you are going to be blown away. This is just epic. Now you see it, and once my computer struggles a bit, no, you don't. It's incredible what, you know, they've managed to do. It just disappears. And then granted, it's not perfect, but if I wanted perfect, I would have probably taken the picture myself. Yeah, I'm... If I wanted uh, it to be... I mean, this is a great starting ground. If I, if I can't be bothered to painstakingly go over her hair and whatnot just so that I can you know edit something behind her this is a great way I mean look how fast that is I mean and it's pretty much on the ball you know it looks it doesn't look odd all right so I'm just going to go to my layer here and we're going to use the puppet warp which is a uh, one of the main things they uh, advertised for CS5, uh, I know this is probably a bit late, but hey, I'm excited. <sighs> Give her two eyes, stick pins, and I think these are set. These are essentially anchor points that allow me to uh, <laughs> change her body about. That's, uh, I didn't get too well. Maybe if I can, can I move that up? I'm like a puppet master. Right. Stick and points everywhere. Gap yard. Uh, send. Hmm. Send backwards, probably. And I'm just going to move her sword. Oh, oh. Behind her. That yeah, looks pretty good. And I want to move her arm. Um, where do I want to move her arm? Yeah, that's like a... Don't you come near me, pose. But, uh... What does it look like behind her? Uh, send backwards. Oh, that looks very samurai-ish. Looks like she means business. Uh, could I make a, what if I could get a, touch the sword, I probably could, couldn't I, oh that's quite exciting, so delete pin here, oh no, it hasn't selected it, bro. it's stuck the two things together so I can't, oh that's a shame, Alright, so I think I'll just make her look samurai. Actually, I think it's better that uh, I had to restart this commentary. I've made a better looking image. So let's see what this looks like. I mean, that's pretty good. Here, you're gonna, not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, that's uh, pretty insane for how long I spent on it. You know, before that would have taken quite a lot longer than it actually has. So, you know, I'm not complaining. I'm still quite excited about this. I can't wait to do uh, some cool graphics with this. Use my, uh, bring out some Flash tutorials. Those are a bit boring because it's mainly just text. Me inputting text, spelling it wrong, and then uh, deleting it. Saying I'm sorry, 
riding it again and you getting annoyed with me so I'm gonna have to practice those a bit um what I'm gonna say is that this does look like a a much more refined version of Photoshop granted this doesn't isn't the best picture I've ever ever photoshopped I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie I could have done better but uh seeing as I've only just got this I only just got this uh, within you know a couple of hours I'm still a bit new to this uh, I wanted to get a video out and I actually to be honest with you this is the first time I really played with the tools I, I had a quick look to see what happens with it so I'm going to say that this is a great package if you've got CS4 already um, I don't know whether or not you need it if you like this the uh, selection tools then uh, you probably will like it but uh, you know I'm not sh if you can get this cheap I highly recommend it if you're a student and you can get this I would highly recommend it but if you're having to pay full price for it then uh, I probably wouldn't and if you can get a, a version of CS4 or CS3 for cheaper you know if you get that then uh, it's pretty much the same obviously you're not going to get as many features you're going to get yeah, going to get quite yeah you're not going to get as many features but uh, you know you yeah you you pay for what you get I mean it, it's pretty old now and uh, I mean CS4 didn't have that many more features than uh, CS3 which was a bit disappointing this I think Adobe have upped their game a little and I, I'm still to play about with it I've just noticed what is mini bridge what is that I wonder if I'll have time to talk about this I'm running out of time pretty quickly welcome to mini bridge alright browse files what is this this is pretty sweet this means uh, I can spend a whole load of time waiting for this to load instead of just dragging in a file from a from my folder yeah maybe it's, oh uh, yeah I need a faster computer yeah uh, it's getting a bit slow now so uh, yeah it might be a bit time for an upgrade I'll probably upgrade when I go to uni hopefully I go to uni yeah I should go to uni yeah no, uh, I think this is a a good package. Oh, I can't, I can't wait for this. That's annoying. Do you want the bridge to start at login? So this is also there when needed. E mm, no. I don't think I want that. That's probably gonna slow my computer down even more. I mean, you can see it's struggling with the content aware stuff. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, content aware scaling. That's another feature of CS5, which looks pretty snazzy. Um, I look forward to making a tutorial on that and uh, making a tutorial on GIFs, that should be fun. Um, I, I've got a couple of tutorials lined up to be uh, put onto my channel. I'm just giving it a bit of a break because uh, yeah, I, I've, I've been a bit busy so we'll pr probably put them on later. And uh, I don't know, I'm going to... I've been rambling on for a bit, so I'm gonna probably fill the rest of this commentary with a. You'll you'll probably see some random footage of something. Not quite sure what. Maybe you'll just see a slideshow of different tutorials that I've done. That will be interesting. So, yeah, if you've got CS4 and you're not looking for a whole load of new features, you'll you know. I probably would just stick with what you have. If you haven't got Photoshop and you're looking to buy the newest version just to keep you up to date with everything, highly recommend it. If you just want a new Photoshop, highly recommend it. And uh, yeah, that's my verdict. Rate, comment and subscribe.